Hey guys, all right, so it's happening. Uh, tomorrow morning, basically in uh, five hours, so we are flying to sun and fun. Uh, the way I'm going to show you right now is just my process of thinking, how am I planning uh, this kind of uh, flights and what um, does it take for a regular person to plan this quite complicated fly in uh, into a major, major, major um, air show uh, event. All right, so uh, with this said, let's just uh, open up an iPad and I just, uh, I will in general uh, show you how do we plan an arrival to um, Sun and Fun. All right, so just in general, an overview. Okay, so we are in the South Florida here. <coughs> Uh, we'll be flying out of uh, Hill of Supersory Echo, which is our Lauderdale Executive Airport, uh, the one where I'm based, uh, leaving uh, Lauderdale Executive to the northeast. And then the goal is to go around um, on the west uh, side of the uh, Lake of Tichorbi. Uh, we don't want to fly over water, we don't have special equipment, and we don't need it. Um, so, coming on the west kind of shore of Lake Kichobi, and then I still want to maintain the um, um, ability to fly uh, by visual reference points. So, then in uh, like 10 15 miles or so, uh, we will have this um, nice lake and right after it we have Sebring airport we will literally fly hopefully fly over it uh, as we can see uh, that's the military operations area so next uh, we'll be coming through a bunch of lakes uh, to the next uh, airport uh, which is Lake uh, Wales Municipal so that will be our uh, next uh, visual reference point and also the uh, small town on our uh, global right wing and then finally we are coming to the most interesting area of uh, the whole flight that's our arrival route and as you can see here after flying a little bit up north uh, we are turning uh, westbound to uh, something called fantasy of flight and uh, then a bunch of turns, twi twists, uh, changes of altitude um, and uh, eventually we arrive to our target point uh, which is um, Lakeland uh, International Airport. Question is, why, uh, why do we make all these uh, turns, why these um, changes of altitude and uh, all this mess? how it looks like this year and uh, as you can see it's uh, not small we have 20 something pages 27 pages uh, 27 pages of the procedure on how to arrive stay and depart uh, from Lakeland this week uh, at the first glance it may sound quite scary and not uh, intuitive, but uh, the secret is that you simply have to read it multiple times and then it kind of all makes sense. It's things are being stitched together and you just understand what they're talking about. So we have uh, like general safety information here, uh, the way we position wind windshield signs uh, for uh, marshals to understand where we're parking like that's for example a windshield sign for general aviation parking um, a little bit of instructions on top uh, the times the airport will be closed it means we won't be able to arrive for the part of these times because it's the air show uh, and obviously during the air show we don't want someone to fight through it so it's very critical for us, especially for planning the return flight, uh, not to be, you know, in the 
time uh, slots when the airport is closed. Uh, the TFR notice, uh, balloons can dive in, and that's the actual arriving procedure that you'll be flying through. So the uh, what do we have here is that Fanta, so we will have to follow a sequence of events. So we are approaching uh, the uh, visual reference point called uh, Fantasy of Flight. That's nothing more than just uh, a reference point, and we'll be approaching it basically like in this direction. Uh, and then uh, the fun starts. So from Fantasy of Flight here, we are going to uh, the uh, Lake Parker via this route and then flying through uh, the actual Lake Parker uh, north side. So there will be a, a tower, smokestack towers uh, from the power plant, and following the I 4, and finally uh, to the south, and then I have a left to right base for the final runway. So it's really nothing more than just a sequence of steps and uh, visual reference points. We are doing visual approach, uh, visual arrival, so there will be something to look at uh, during the whole approach. So we have the uh, speed and the altitude stated here, so we want to stick to it. And then, yeah, it's just a very detailed instructions on how to approach uh, the uh, initial fix and then how to proceed from it. So we, uh, we have information how to approach it. Uh, in case uh, it gets too busy, then they can give us this middle of nowhere transition. And that's another, it's just another visual reference point for us to start uh, flying the arrival procedure. Uh, the fantasy of flight, that's our starting point that we'll be most likely using. But again, depending on the, on the, on the congestion, uh, that's how it will look like. And then, yeah, just a sequence of steps, that's how you fly, that's what you see. Um, that's how you fly the traffic pattern, depending on the left or right. Um, and downwind, uh, that's how uh, you'll see how it goes tomorrow depending on the wind, landing, what should you do after touchdown, um, what if <coughs> what if ADC uh, instructs us to fold, um, then there are a few options for us to fold, one is around the lake, another one is just doing this uh, clock uh, uh, wise um, uh, circle to fantasy of flight, back to the lake, then again to the fantasy of flight. Again. Uh, so the whole procedure, um, how to depart, what frequencies to listen, and um, yeah, then the rest, and the secret is that the rest, for most of the pages, uh, they do not apply to us. All right, it's, uh, yeah, then we just scroll to the very end, and here are our frequencies. So we have the 80s. We have the arrival frequency, we have ground uh, and uh, tower. Uh, then for departures for the meter in this tool, uh, guys, 8 is for departure, ground, uh, and, and basically that's it, right? So that's all we really need to know. Then what do we do? Um, so we are building the mental picture of the arrival procedure and then what I uh, like to do is to go to uh, the map view and literally set up the uh, course as it's shown here so I'm literally like I'm basically complaining my um, arrival to the initial fix and then just mapping it out okay that's the fantasy of Light here in the center. That's the Sun uh, Tracks uh, test facility. Okay, that's the um, Lake Parker, and that's the um, smokestack that we all need to leave um, uh, our right wing. Uh, that's the I 4. 
that's why we turn south and and then you literally you have this full mental picture of how this whole route should play out and uh, it really becomes quite quite uh, straightforward and even if i um, reduce the noise here see it looks like it so it departs from executive lake straight 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 phantoms of light torrents and we are here in lakeland so yeah that's <clears throat> That's how do we plan it. Uh, let's see how do we actually manage to execute it. Uh, right, thank you all and see you in a couple of hours. Okay, let's see how we're okay. For this morning. Okay, so checking the weather and uh, at the airport of uh, departure and destination.